Here I have Yumi Super and let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So at the very beginning before you add and do anything on your device, let's download the appropriate app. The link to the application will be under the video in the description and then let's copy that app on your microSD. So here I have my microSD with the app uh, on the following microSD card. So afterwards let's start going through the initializing setup process so let's choose get started let me skip inserting sim card let me set up as a new my device now you need to connect your phone to a um, wi-fi so let me find my wi-fi let me tap see all wi-fi networks all right here i have my wi-fi let me enter the password All right, if you are ready, let's tap connect. The device is obtaining the IP address. The phone is checking connection. And now let's wait for the Google verification screen. Here I have verify your account screen. And now you need to insert the micro SD card. So let's open the tray by using the special tool. It could be simply the Fumber tag. All right, now let's remove the whole tray. Let's insert here the micro SD with the characteristic edge right here in that position. All right, and let's insert the whole thing into your device and press it to the end. Let's wait a few seconds. The following info pops up, so let's tap OK. Let's open the portable storage right here. Let's find your uh, app, in my case it's here, remote GSM edge. Install blocked, but let's tap settings, let's enable the unknown sources. Tap OK and also let's enter device administrators and let's disable the following Android device manager. Let me tap deactivate the device manager, let's go back, let's go back again. Let's open the app one more time, tap next, choose install, wait a couple of seconds, tap accept. All right, let's choose done, let's go back. Let's go back again. When the following screen pops up, let's remove the micro SD and let's insert it again just just let me remove it for a second and insert the SD card again to open this window tab OK let's open the SanDisk SD card in my case again <laughs> sorry let me go back one more time to the following screen and let me one more time open the screen with the storage settings so here let me tap ok now let me swipe from the left to the center here let me tap apps choose more key and select show system scroll down in order to find the google account manager here i have this app google account manager let me tap disable tap disable app Let's go back and find Google Play services. Tap disable one more time, disable app, and let's go back. Now, if you disable the Google Play services, you need to open the account settings. So let's open the list of settings, find and select accounts. Here I have accounts. Let's choose add account, tap Google, you need to add your Google account not connected to this device. It could be any Google account, even a new one. So let me connect my device with the following Google account. Let's enter the email. All right. Let's tap next. Now it's time to enter the password.
All right. So if you have a password, let's tap next. Tab agree. The following info pops up, but don't be worried about this. So now all you need to do is open the apps uh, menu one more time. So let's swipe to the left, choose apps, select more and show system. Find one more time Google account manager. All right, here I have Google account manager. Let me enable this. Let's go back and let's also enable the Google Play services. Tab enable. Let's go back. Let me open the accounts right now. Let me find accounts. Here I have accounts. Let me open the Google and let's enable the following options. You, may, you have to make sure that all of them will be enabled. Now let's le restart your device by pressing the power key. Tab restart and tab OK. All right, so let's go through the initializing setup process. Tab skip, set up as a new. And just wait a couple of seconds. As you can see, account added. So the account that you add previously is added to your device. That's what we need. Tap next. All right, let me skip the fingerprint management. Skip anyway. Let's tap set up later the following settings. Now you can use your device, but to fully erase the FRP, let's perform the hard reset by using settings. Tap settings, find and select backup and reset. Choose factory data reset. Tap reset phone and tap erase everything. Now let's wait until your device will perform the hard reset operation. Excellent, the welcome panel pops up just to make sure that you can activate your device without the Google account. Let me quickly go through this process. Let me tap don't use any network for setup. Tap next a couple of times. Tap next again. Skip the fingerprint. Choose setup later. And that's it, the home screen pops up, so it means that everything went well. Thank you for watching, please subscribe our channel, leave thumbs up under the video.